Hi everyone, I hope you guys are keeping well. In this video, I'm gonna share with you a series of exercises for low back pain, specifically if you have back pain while you're walking or standing. This is one of the common issues that people I see in my clinic generally and people that I basically send a message in my YouTube channel and ask what are the exercises that I can do if I have back pain when I'm walking. This is a very common issue and because of that, I create a plan for you that in this video, I'm gonna share with you series of exercises that you're going to do on a daily basis that can help you to, first of all, get pain-free and be able to walk pain-free, and plus understand what is the mechanism behind this injury that caused you pain while you're walking or prolonged standing. If you've never been in this channel, my name is Bob, I'm a physical therapist, and the purpose of this channel is to help people like yourself with simple tips and exercise for quicker recovery. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for my weekly update and don't forget to press that like button. Let's get started. All right guys, to get the mechanism of this injury that why actually your back gets sore and, and stiff and uncomfortable when you're standing and walking, it's uh, due to a lack of coordination and a stiffness in your lumbar spine and technically your posture can be causing that because you're holding those muscles uh, very rigidly and trying to keep the posture upright and keeping your back upright these muscles can get very overworked and and the test to find out whether do you have this issue or not is that when you are trying to posteriorly tilt your pelvis um, you don't have that much coordination and you really try to do that with so much effort now the first exercise that I'm going to share with you guys in this routine is going to be simply getting your body to practice that posterior tilt in lying position because in many cases you can't really do this movement that I'm doing at the moment and to do that this exercise which pretty simple you're going to lie on your back knee bended shoulder beat apart you're trying to create a gap here initially and then try to push that down while you're breathing in and out and try to hold it for five seconds and be trying to hold that posterior tilt for five seconds and then relax it then you can create the gap again breathing in and out and push that down hold it for another five seconds this exercise simply can help you to um, activate those muscles rather than holding them too tight and the more you do this you can actually get more coordinated and that coordination is hugely essential and that can help you when you're standing you're not holding those muscles and actually they're moving and specifically when you're standing and you're walking those muscles don't necessarily pull your back and create too much actually discomfort and pain we're going to progress this exercise step by step in the next few exercises the following exercise that i'm going to share with you guys is going to be a progression at the, of the initial posterior tilt that you're going to hold that five seconds and in this exercise we're going to try to while you're holding that basically posterior tilt you're going to try to move your arms overhead and maintain that pressure down the hip and breathe in and out back again you want to push that basically um, kind of back down to the ground hold them there for five seconds and slowly Bring your arms over your head, breathe in and breathe out. Now, while you're doing this, if you would like to get a bit of kind of like weight on it and feel your arms, you can use kind of like a stick or stool like this. And we're gonna practice the same thing. I'm going to create a gap, go to the posterior tilt and bring my hands over my head, hold there for five seconds, breathe in and out. and gradually bring it up. You can practice this exercise for three sets of five. Hold that tension, breathe in and out and use your arms. Make sure that you're not progressing to moving your arms too quick. Get the first initial movement right and gradually build it up. All right guys, the following progression that I'm gonna share with you guys in this video is gonna be a standing position and we're going to practice that posterior tilt in a standing position and you're going to use the wall and try to kind of bend in your knees keep the shoulder and, and neck on the wall and try to kind of like wall here create that gap and try to push the back hold there for five seconds breathe in and out 
maintain that tension and relax. You're going to practice this for three sets of five. Again, hold it for five seconds. And as you can see, you're trying to gently push those muscles, create that posterior tilt, breathe in and out. Hold it for five seconds and relax. The more you practice this exercise, um, you're basically those muscles in your lumbar spine become more coordinated and comfortable with the movement and they don't necessarily fight. Now, we're gonna progress this exercise to the next move in the next exercise. The last progression that we're gonna do in this routine is gonna be with the use of a resistant band and we're trying to basically lean back on the wall, go to the posterior tilt and hold there for five seconds and gradually bring your arms up. Hold it there for five seconds, you're breathing in and out and slowly bring it down and relax. You're gonna practice this exercise to the range that you feel comfortable and gradually you can bring your arms up, all the way up to the ceiling. And this is gonna be something that you can try over time and gradually practice this exercise. Now the aim of this exercise is to be able to coordinate that movement, posterior tilt, and hold in that position and be able to breathe in and out. Practice this exercise uh, from the initial exercise that I show you gradually and build it up to this routine and don't rush it. I hope you guys find this exercise helpful. If you have any questions regarding back pain, disc bulges, herniated disc or anything related to your injury, leave me a comment and I would be more than happy to help you with simple tips and exercises for your quicker recovery. Don't forget to subscribe my channel for my weekly update and don't forget to press that like button. Until next week, all the best.